Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I will be extracting lithium from this lithium co coin cell battery. Now, as we can see, that this is lithium because it fizzes when I add water to it, and the residue on my fingers feel very slippery, indicating that a base like hydroxide has formed. Now I will be trying to smash open this lithium coin cell battery with uh, my hammer. And I felt like using a lithium button cell battery, I mean coin cell battery, instead of a lithium AA energizer battery, because it costs less. It costs about $2.50, and an energizer battery costs about $15. So, as you can see here, I'm splitting it open. As you can see, it's being split open right now. And here is the lid of it. Now, we don't really need this, so you can dispose of it. Now we have this metal mesh. I don't really know what to do with it, so I'm going to dispose of it. But you guys can use it for something. Uh, yeah. And now we have this black powder that I'm not really sure of. It might be manganese dioxide that we see in everyday batteries. But I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to get a metal object and start scraping it out. Now here's the lithium that we've been looking for. So I'm going to try something that I haven't seen many people do. I'm going to put my lithium in a glass jar with some mineral oil so that uh, I could potentially melt the lithium without using any hardcore uh, nitrogen flushing or whatever. Uh, so. I thought this because the baby oil boils about 260 degrees Celsius and uh, the melting point of lithium is about 180 degrees Celsius so I don't have to worry about the uh, baby oil boiling but that didn't that really didn't work so I just scraped it off with my craft knife and put it in some mineral oil now just for you guys who don't believe me, I'm going to put it in water and it should start fizzing. As you can see, it's fizzing very vigorously, uh, showing that it is a very reactive metal. Now, this wouldn't be considered... Okay, so that's another element to the collection. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.